morning, good afternoon, welcome to another session of Stay Active. Today's session is the second part of our yoga theme to rumble in the jungle. So if you'd like to join in, find a space around you to listen to the story, see what animals that we can find and do some yoga positions to them as we find along the way. So the first one as we start our story is, do you know? Yes, crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. <gasps> the crocodile's going to eat some of the other animals. So he's very, very bold, the crocodile. And we're going to take this crocodile position. And as we do it, we're going to say to ourselves, I am bold. So stepping forwards, Bending your knee to reach down to the floor and then straighten the leg behind you and say, I am bold, like the brave crocodile. Well done. And swap legs, straighten the leg behind. I am bold. Do this wherever you feel comfortable to. You're doing great. So the next animal. Who is this? It takes two pages. It's so big. Yes, it's the rhinoceros. The ravenous rhinoceros is big, strong and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means there's plenty of room for his lunch. And that makes him terribly happy. So the happy rhinoceros is so big and so strong. So we're going to say, I am strong. And we're going to stretch our arm out forwards like the rhinoceros's horn. And our legs take a strong stance like the big rhinoceros. Step forward, straighten that leg behind, slightly bend the first leg in front. And that same arm of that leg goes forward and the other arm behind. So same hand forwards as leg and say, I am strong. And the arm's like the rhinoceros's horn. There, well done. Okay, the next one. This animal jumping through the pages is a gazelle. No one can run half as quick as me. The galloping gorgeous gazelle, I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky. And I'm awfully pretty as well. So this gorgeous gazelle, so excited to be jumping up so high and such a fast runner. So we're going to take this star position of the gazelle jumping up into the sky. Okay, and you say, I am excited. So take a big step forward and I am excited like the gorgeous gazelle. Stretch your arms out wide. And if you want, you can try jumping out like the gazelle jumping. And again, jump the gorgeous gazelle. You could try a few jumps out and in. Gorgeous gazelle. Well done. So the next one. Oh, who is this? Looks like a monkey but it's a gorilla. The gorilla is big, black and hairy and the thing he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant great chest. So for this one, the giant gorilla is very brave and tough. So we're going to take the stance of him thumping his chest, step forward, we are going to make our arms go up as tall as we can. All right, so we can stretch them down and go like the gorilla, then up. I am brave. It to yourself. Well done, you are doing great. The next one is the leopard oh, in the tree. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be terribly, incredibly polite. So here in the night, this leopard, the hungry leopard being polite, we are going to be Holding the moon, our big strong leopard, and I am daring like a leopard in the night. So we're going to take our legs out to the side, 
toes pointing outwards. We're going to squat down, lift our arms up like the hungry leopard, holding up that moon, that daring leopard and say, I am daring. Hold it. Well done and being polite to say please and thank you. Well done. The next one. Who is this going? Grrr. Yes, it's the tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near. But his eyes shine like lights through the blackest of nights. And his growl makes you tremble with fear. <gasps> so we're going to be here. This terrible tiger is very adventurous at night time. And we're going to be adventurous too. So we're going to stand on one leg, bending that leg slightly. And can you lift the other leg behind you and then your arms out forwards. I am adventurous. Good. You want to just do it with your legs first of all. Or if you want to stand on two legs and put your hands out forwards. I am adventurous. I'll try it with one leg behind, both hands forward. I am adventurous. Fantastic, well done. So that's all the animals there, but we're just about to finish our story. And the moon has come out. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly, while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. So for the final one, we've been in the jungle in the night time and we're sitting all calm, listening to the animals that are going to bed Maybe some that are coming out. So sit with your legs crossed, your back nice and straight, hands together. Take a deep breath in and out. Well done, deep breath in. And reach up to the stars and the moon. And out. Well done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye bye.